Now News Extra here on KNEB. It's brought to you by First State Bank. Scott's Bluff and Gehring. And here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We have a couple of ladies here to talk about uh, the Scott's Bluff Public Schools Foundation. We have Foundation Executive Director Alyssa Harvey. And uh, for the first time, she says, Melissa Price is here. <laughs> She's their uh, big media and marketing person over at Scotts Bluff Schools, and she's going to tell us some things about what's going on as well. So welcome, ladies. Thank you. Good you to bet. Be here. Um, all right, Alyssa, let's talk, uh, first of all, about the fundraiser you're having in conjunction with Sam and Louise mm-hmm. with parent-teacher conferences, That's right? right. That's right. So tonight and tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, at all of our schools, uh, students will be there to sell pavers for the Bearcat Pride Plaza, and anyone who purchases their paver while they are at their conference uh, will receive a free pizza from Sam and Louise. So that's a great deal, especially you're going to do it anyway, so you might as well do that tonight or tomorrow and grab your pizza coupon too. All right. Uh, now the bricks are the pavers uh, that you can buy that will be uh, uh, out in front of the school in the mm-hmm. entrance area. Uh, how much are they? So they start at $75, and that is a traditional 4 by 8 brick size. And then we do have another larger size. Um, so it just kind of depends on what you want to put on it, how much you want to say, what you want to leave there at SHS. Um, and our students can help you figure out, you know, which one suits your needs. All right. You can put, uh, it can be your family. Mm-hmm. It can be an individual. Right. A you can couple. have class year. Yeah. Um, some of the classes that are doing pavers are, are uh, inscribing their class motto, which is kind of neat. Yeah. So there's lots of lots of options. Yeah. And it can even be a company, right? That's right. Yeah. We have um, some things going on with lots of local companies that are throwing their support behind this and they're going to have, you know, their logos on the on the pavers as well. So. Yeah. And you can do this uh, by calling you online, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Number so, of ways. Um, my phone number is 633-2857, and I am happy to talk to you about it. I have lots of phone calls, you know, every day, just quick questions and things regarding the pavers. Um, if you know what you want on your paver and you're ready to make that purchase, you can go online at sbps.net slash plaza, and all of our options are there. You can view the clip art selection, so if you want a picture on your paver, you can include that, um, and that's just a really Really, really easy, seamless way to get that done. All right. And, uh, of course, if you want to do it uh, either uh, tonight or tomorrow, maybe your kids are doing great and you're all proud and you go, (laughs) hey, buy buy a paver. (laughs) That's right. Tonight's the night. (laughs) Tonight's the night to do it, you know, along with uh, getting a pizza. That's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So uh, we're going to take a break and then we're going to talk to Melissa Price here about some of the reasons why we, you know, we fund the foundation and that type of thing right after this. Hey, Nebraska, Dave Ramsey here. When I get asked where you should keep your money, for me, it's a no-brainer. Locally owned community banks like First State Bank in Scotts Bluff and Garing. They offer all the bells and whistles of the big banks, but with free checking that includes free e-statements, free online banking, and no charge first mobile banking, free ATM transactions nationwide, and no monthly maintenance fees. First State Bank, Scotts Bluff and Garing, member FDIC. All right, we're back on News Extra. We're talking about the Scotts Bluff Public Schools Foundation. Don't forget, parents, if you're going to parent-teacher conferences tonight or tomorrow at the uh, Scotts Bluff Schools, uh, there is a fundraiser activity they're doing for the foundation. Uh, You can get a pizza from Sam and Louie's. All you have to do is uh, purchase a paver. Uh, for the Scotts Bluff Public Schools Foundation, a little uh, brick that uh, can have your family name on it, can have just a couple's name on it, whatever you want to do out in front of the uh, Scotts Bluff Public Schools there at the Foundation Plaza. So we have Alyssa Harvey to, here today, also Melissa Price, who didn't get a chance to talk for the break, but now she's going to. And believe me, she's got a lot to talk about. So uh, why are we... Funding Scotts Bluff Public Schools Foundation. What type of things? 
Well, for this project specifically, um, the proceeds do go to the high school and to career academies. And it's not just about career academies. It's really, for us, it's about student experiences. And, you know, we've added so much more in the last few years in terms of our career academy programming. And um, we've added new career student organizations. We have things like HOSA, which is for um, students who want to become health professionals. We have educators rising for students that want to become teachers. And we have, and we have the things that we've always had, like Pro Start for our foods classes, and DECA for business and marketing, and you know FFA for agriculture. And when we've added these things, we've also added a lot more state and national competitions. We've added, um, we've added classes like graphic arts and classes like um, STEM and engineering classes that need things like software licenses or supplies to make robotic arms. And all of these things, along with, um, we've added a lot of dual credit courses at the high school, which all need textbooks. And all of these things, unfortunately, come with a price tag. And so this is this is a way for us to fund some of those things that while, you know, the, the new high school is beautiful, it is a building. And it really does take more to make those experiences really authentic and make them robust for all of our kids. That's right. Part of the reason the college is saying their enrollment is up is all the kids taking dual credit courses. I mean, uh, they're up like 200 students. And I think a lot of that's dual credit courses. You guys are busing them up there. Yes, right? we are. We are running a bus up to WNCC several yeah. times a day, taking our students up there to take dual credit courses. It really is. It's a great opportunity for our students. Um, we also have a number of students taking dual credit courses right on our campus. And um, all of this is wonderful. It gives kids some college credit. It also gives them, for the kids that go up and take them on WNCC's campus, it gives them a chance to um, be on a college campus, get to experience that and, and feel what it's like, but it doesn't completely, you're not completely turning them loose the way that you do when your kids graduate and go off to college. But 75% of our last graduating class graduated with some kind of college credit. So we're, we're really proud of that. Yeah, that's great, man. I think that's, uh, that's kind of the, the way things are going, not only at your school, but Gearing and all, all the other schools, which is good. So uh, once again, uh, don't forget the Sam and Louis fundraiser with the parent-teacher conferences tonight and tomorrow. Probably just think about that a little bit over the next 24 hours and uh, just bring your checkbook, write the check, 75 bucks, get a pizza, not that bad a deal. All right. All right. So uh, think about that before you go to parent-teacher conferences here in the next couple days. All right. Thank you very much, gals. Alyssa Harvey and Melissa Price here on our News Extra program today. Thank you.